Hey, what's up, everybody? Got some stuff to show you guys that I snagged from my friend Jim yesterday. Going through Craigslist. Anyways, gonna start with the system here. I've got another Sega Dreamcast. This is the year 2000 model, and this one is damn near mint condition. It is in very good shape. Looks like it hardly got played at all, and plays like it's brand new, man. It loads the games up right quick, so really good condition. Got three controllers with it. Same thing, all of them look like they hardly got touched. They look mint. All the same type, as in just standard white controllers for the Dreamcast. Got one VMU here that looks like it's new. Also got a rumble pack made by performance same man they freaking look like they are brand new just unbelievable no nastiness or anything in the cracks or nothing man there's no sign that these were really played with also I've got a pile of games with that and on these games they're not in the best shape I might try and get a couple or so of them resurface the other ones I'll play them until they're unplayable as in they're pretty scratched up but didn't care <laughs> you'll see why in the next video why I didn't care and I ain't gonna tell you what I got but I got a definite reason now as in this was not the only score for the day I made a kick-ass score on the way home well, it's got Sonic Adventure with the instruction manual but it looks like it got a little wet Game's not in too bad a shape, but it's playable. Gauntlet Legends, that's just the cover of the instruction book in there. Same thing, it's playable. Let's see, I haven't tested this one out yet. Yeah, it's not horrible, but it's pretty scratched up. It's kind of obvious, I think, the reason he got rid of this system, not Jim, but the person that gave it to him, was. Uh, they couldn't find games, kind of like me. And when they did, they were like this. As in, I don't find much stuff with the Dreamcast around here, anyways. Carrier. Already got a good copy of this, so if this one works, that'll just make it like a backup game. Evil Dead Hail to the King. Sonic Adventure 2. This one I have tested, and it seems to play alright. This was the one that I tested while I was at Jim's, and it loaded right up and plays great. So this one's definitely going to get resurfaced. Got King of the Fighters Dream Match 1999. Then I already have a copy of this. This copy. Uh, let's see on this last disc. And uh, they're pretty scratched up. Don't know. I'll see if it works. If it doesn't, no big deal, as I already got it. But I uh, had a copy of Shimonu. Missing the books, but it's got all the discs. So anyways, that haul for just that, he had listed at 40 bucks, And that was the price I got for everything. As in, all the other stuff I snagged, he just threw it in for free. Said, here, man, take it all for 40 bucks." <laughs> And uh, he also had a box of miscellaneous stuff. Had some games in it, some for Atari 2600 and some for the Genesis. That's what I'll show you. And then the rest of it was some uh, miscellaneous controllers for Genesis, some for Atari, and some power supplies and whatnot. So, stuff that <laughs> nobody gives a shit about other than me is I needed some spare parts. But got a nice little pile of games. Show the Atari here first. Got Frogger, which I already have. I do have a copy of this one too, but this is a fun game. Planet Patrol. Tully Games number 16, Maze Mania. Red Label Space Invaders. Demon Attack. And these two look damn near mid condition. Got Gopher. And squeeze box. And then on Genesis, 
Only one of them looks like it's in really good shape, but it's just the cartridge. And it's got one boxed game, X-Men, but it's missing the instruction book. Cartridge not bad. And I didn't have any of the X-Men games for the Genesis. And this one, one of my favorite games back in the day for that system. This made it even better. Got X-Men 2, and this is the one that looks damn near mint. Very good shape on the cart. Got Sonic Spinball. And this being the worst one, as in I think it came from a video store like Blockbuster, and they peeled the stickers off. Got Sonic 2, and then the not for a resale version of Sonic 2. That was all going to be 10 bucks for all these loose games plus the miscellaneous parts and pieces. So basically, you knocked 10 bucks off right away. Then also, we had some uh, Super Nintendo games for sale for just two bucks a piece. I only snagged three of them, so knocked that off too. So got everything for $40. The Super Nintendo games, I think I left them out in the living room, but I got them for my grandnephew. Got Lion King. Mega Man X, and then one for his dad, Mortal Kombat 2. So, <laughs> my nephew and my grandnephew have some games to play. And then, uh, on this Dreamcast, he had two cables for it, as in video cables. This one, when I first saw it, I thought it was just the standard one, but it's one that's uh, S Video. So I've got an S video cable for Dreamcast and then the one that he was using to power it up with. Really friggin' nice. This one is a multi cable for Dreamcast, PlayStation, and Super Nintendo or Nintendo 64. All gold plated on the metal for the plugs. Then the plugs for your A V and S video all metal and gold plated very nice real heavy duty cable and I get a nice super sharp picture with this man it's really well made so anyways that's the majority of everything that I snagged from him I'm going to show you one of the joysticks here as in uh, these aren't bad but I'm just going to stick it up on my shelf as uh, now I got a pair of them this is a Star Master joystick for the 2600. And not in bad shape at all. Just needs to be cleaned up. But uh, for a joystick, uh, not horrible, but not great. They're built on the inside the same way as a standard 2600 controller, to where it's got the little metal disc that it hits. So you're not really getting anything new other than the look. And then got the fire button in the standard place and then they've got one on the gun grip style handle here not in bad shape out of all the joysticks I got this one was in the best shape the rest of the joysticks are standard 2600 and they're ones that I got to piece out and build some good ones out of it now the next video I've been testing a lot of them so I kind of got to spread out here I got to gather them all up all I can say, man, the Sega gods were shining down on Pawn Me, man. Just, holy shit. <laughs> I was not feeling good by the time I got from his place and started heading home. As in, I had an appointment yesterday, and then I went to saw Jim and picked the stuff up. On my way home, I've got kind of a secondhand slash junk store that's fairly close to me. And I noticed that they had a lot of stuff sitting outside, like they got a new shipment of stuff. And it's like, oh, screw it, man. Might as well check it out while I'm out and about. And I am so glad I did, man. I made a real score on a box of stuff for free. So stay tuned for the next video, man. You're not going to believe what I found. And it has to do with Sega. Big time. Catch you all later.